After you have uh, downloaded and installed Whisper Reporter from the Whisper Solutions website and set up your company information, which was in the previous video, you will then need to set up your inspector information, which is also under the setup drop down menu. You'll come down to where it says inspectors, click that, and here is the window where you can set up actually multiple inspectors uh, from one instance of Whisper Reporter. You would just click new here and you would be prompted for the um, the name of the first of the inspector you're setting up right now and then you would click OK and you would enter all of his information. Once it's all entered um, of course that would include the first middle and last name, the voice, uh, phone number, fax, all that information, your email address, your um, license number if you have a uh, state issued license number or certification if it's something other than that uh, that can apply in Texas to the Texas Roll State Commission's license number it could, it could apply to a certified applicator number if you're a wood destroying insect kind of guy uh, it could be anything you want to put in here that you need to pull into the reports that you're generating when you get down to the bottom and it says the, uh, the, the place for the license file needs to be specified um, you can leave that blank if you have purchased a license from Whisper to start with and if your name is entered uh, exactly the way it was registered with Whisper after you click OK or apply an OK uh, Whisper will go out to the Whisper website and attempt to look up your license information automatically for you if it is successful and it finds it it will pull it into the uh, into the database automatically for you um, if there's any reason it can't get to the website, some people, without thinking much, um, block Whisper from uh, uh, getting to the website or to the internet you know, without realizing it is a safe and trusted program. Uh, if it cannot get to the uh, website, then obviously the license will not be installed automatically, nor will you be able to check for updates uh, and be able to see what the latest update is. That's under the help pull down menu. We'll talk about that later. Um, but those types of things require internet access. If you do not have that, then you can always browse and go find the license file that we emailed you when you made your purchase and then install it that way. And then Whisper will load the file into the database and you should be on your way. So that pretty much concludes setting up the inspector's information. Just like with the company information, this information is used to uh, pull into and be printed. It's actually printed onto the reports, uh, but this is where it comes from, from the inspector database. Okay? Well, thanks for watching.